Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking this video. So for today's video, we'll be painting a sunrise. And as you can see, I'm peeling off my two bottles to be able to clean my brush truly. I know we typically paint sunset because it's the best time of the day. But for now, we'll paint sunrise because I just feel like painting it. I really like to mix my paints beforehand so I can paint and blend well. It's like a first thing to do for me even with oils. And just a TMI, this canvas is given for me for free because when I bought several canvas to them, they, they gave me this canvas for um, thank you. And it's really nice because this canvas is, uh, I think, 20 by 30 it's that big or I mean uh, I don't know I feel like it's 25 by 45 let's go back to mixing paints as you can see I always put white first since we are painting a sunrise we need lighter colors so we need to add more white the color she need here is white yellow red and blue and green but don't be harsh to put red because we will I will show you why you don't need much of a red at this point you can see how I put my green and blue in a way where in first white we put little and then the second and then the third it pick more volumized so it will create a gradient in here i only put little of yellow because i want to achieve that pastel yellow color and on the other hand i put so much yellow and then a little bit of red and now for my favorite part mixing colors oh before i forgot if you're mixing colors please be sure to apply pressure so the colors will combine and will achieve their mixing shades this process is so satisfying for me, OMG. It's just so satisfying to see them blend well. Then there is this technique in mixing colors where you mix from light shades to dark shades. Because it's much more um, easy when you wash your palette knives. And it's so easy to blend when you go from lighter to darker colors. And commercial. Please excuse anything you hear as my background noise. I know. I know it. I know it's disturbing and I'm so sorry for that. Anyway, you don't need to do this mixing if you have these shades of um, colors like Viridan, Teal, and Light Blue. You don't have to do this mixing if you have those. Yet, I recommend you still to try learning mixing colors. You not every day you have those colors so try learning mixing I'm using here a cake board as my mixing plate although I have my own mixing plate but I use this DIY mixing plate because it's convenient and it's really a waste to put away a cake board that still has a purpose the brushes I'll be using here is a 16 flat brush a 4 angular brush and then one round brush in here i don't use any reference painting it's just me and my mind and my hands you know you just got to let your hands do the work and if you want to watch the full length video of this painting i will just post it here in youtube three days prior to this video i picked to paint sunrise because it's been a while since i got to go out and see a beautiful sunrise while I'm at beach so it's like just a memory passing by my brain and then just my hands want to paint it you know look at how I blend my colors I put a little space between the colors then go over it for them to mix up and then I go down and then I go up later so the colors will be blend well even without a blend brush you know i just use here 
a nice flat 16 brush. When you're using acrylics, you have to blend faster than you usually does in oils because acrylics is so much quicker to dry than the oils. Oils takes days to dry but acrylics takes only seconds, you know. It's really hard to blend so you have to work faster. You can see here that I'm blending so fast because I don't want them to dry when I'm blending it. So I have this mixture of gradient in my sky that I like to achieve. Also, this video is in two times faster so you can see my hands going really fast from left to right. In doing my ocean part, I start off with the darkest blend of shade I have and then going down to the light blue. So it will create a nice gradient from the farthest to the closest part of the ocean to me. In this part, I'm really trying my best to make that straight line because I forgot to do a sketch from where my sky and my sea will meet. So yeah, I am basically doing my my very best to create that straight line in the meat. And then same process when you blend. You have to work fast, you have to blend well, and you have to create your gradient nice and steady. So it will look natural. Not that I want to paint a realistic sunrise, but I just want the colors to be perfectly blended. If you saw the trailer of this video, you will be laughing right now because in here, I'm literally in class in my specialized subject in cookery. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm painting and I'm listening to my teacher and the guilt is so, so, so big. <laughs> so yeah, if you see the trailer, you'll be laughing right now because it's it looks normal from the video. But when you know the story behind this video, you'll be laughing for sure. Don't be like me. I know it's wrong, but I did it. So don't do my mistakes. <laughs> it's just, it's so funny. So I have to tell you this. Though it's a little bit TMI. I put some green in the farthest part so it can be a little darker. So it will be... A really nice gradient from the largest to the closest one to me after creating the gradient I'll be back because this gradient have to be dry before I put something on top of it see how it is really a good and almost perfect gradient for me Now that it's dry, I'll be doing the clouds first so it can, you know, create some dimension to it and maybe because it's hard for me to paint the clouds though it's really a first thing to do to paint the clouds because it's on top I usually paint on the top first before I go below the painting you don't have to paint the exactly this in the same position as mine. You have you can paint on your own, on your own. If you see that you want to paint on the left side more, on in the top, on it's your choice. Okay, it's your choice to create your own clouds. You don't have to copy the exact picture of what I'm doing right now. I don't know if you understand that, but. If you understand it, it is what it is. You know, just that's that. I'm not good at explaining things, but if you understand that, you're good. If you didn't see, I got some red and put it on the mixed shade of skin tone I use for the gradient and put it to be my clouds so it can stand out in my gradient of sky. By the way, you know the drill, right guys? Please like, share, and subscribe this video for more awesome content.
Thank you. I'll stop talking from here so you can focus more on the painting. Bye-bye. I'll just talk later. If I am needed. For this part, I just wanted to say that you can have your own waves, you can paint your own waves, you don't have to copy exactly what I am painting right now. But if you like also to copy mine, it's okay, it's your choice. I just want you to improve and keep practicing. Waves are so hard to do when it's your first time to do them because it's kind of tricky to know where is the shadow place and where is the highlight but when you start to completely be mastering the way of waves on how they create your painting better i know you will be good you just have to keep practicing to be confident to make your own waves you know just practice is the key and there's always a room for improvement.
in this part i'm just trying to find areas that needs more attention and more details so if you finish your waves and your clouds and your mountains you're good you don't have to do this so your paint will, will not be any more disaster because that's a common mistake that beginner painter usually do they tend to overboard and to put more details on their painting and they end up destroying their own painting now i'm just putting more highlights to the sunlights and the sun and then i'll be putting more reflections in the water or in the oceans so if you like to put your sparkling reflections in your water more you can do that but as again you don't have to go overboard on the details because you might destroy your paint though it's a gamble because you want to make your painting more beautiful this is also a super 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 satisfying part because you put sparkle on the water but you just have to remind yourself that you shouldn't go overboard or else it will not emphasize your waves and your clouds Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more awesome content and see you next week.